What up, guys? Welcome back. So today we're checking out some smart audio glasses. These are the IQ from Rocket, a pair of smart audio glasses. Now, I have reviewed some of these in the past. Those were pretty pricey when it comes down to it. These are a lot cheaper, and we'll talk about what we get for our money. But retail price, $89.99. But right now, they are offering a 30% off discount if you use the code Digital Slang. Of course, I will drop the links below and you can check it out, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, drop a sub. But let's check out the IQ by Rocket. So the packaging on here is very nice. You can see what's going on up here. We got some different colors, but this does come in two different colorways. So we do get the black colorway, and the ones that I have here are the amber brown colorway. And these are nice-looking glasses. Normally not my style, but I do like these. And you guys can see how they look. Normally I would rock the black pair. But, you know, this is what they sent me to review, not a paid review. Shout out to Rocket for sending these over. But you guys will see this before they do. And I'll just leave these on for a little while since we are reviewing these glasses anyway. So the IQ by Rocket. And you can see on the side here, it does have some of the specs right here. So open-ended sound, of course. These are going to be like open-ended earbuds. You're going to have some sound leakage. And I'll give you an example of that in a little while. Now, you can replace the lenses on these glasses. If you have prescription lenses, you can replace those. So you do have some options. I believe they have polarized lenses as well. So you can take these lenses out and switch them up if you need to do that. Now, you do have some touch controls on here. There is physical buttons on each frame that you can use. IPX4 water resistant, so you can rock these outside. And if they get a little wet, they're going to be just fine. Playtime up to five hours. And of course... That will depend on how loud you listen to your music. So five to eight hours, but think on the low end, especially with these when it comes to volume. I tend to use these with the volume turned all the way up. But we'll talk about the volume and the sound quality in a little bit. But the actual glasses here, you can see these are nice glasses. I do really like these. At first, I wasn't sure about the brown colorway, but I've been wearing these now for about a week and a half, two weeks, and I do like it. Now, you can see all of the tech here on the inside, but I think, I don't know how it would look on the black colorway. It would probably blend in a little bit more on the black colorway. Well, of course it would, but, and you guys drop some comments and let me know. I love how this looks. I'm a tech guy. I'm a tech nerd, so I'm going to like seeing this tech, and this would be a conversation starter if you were to see somebody rocking these glasses. Now, right here, you can see we do have four pins, and this is where you are going to charge it. I will show you how you charge these guys up. And then you have a button right here, and that is on both of these frames, and that is your touch controls. So you do have the ability to play and pause, enter into the phone call, call your voice assistant, depending on what phone you are using, you can skip to the next track and go back to the previous track. So some good options here for the touch controls. And it is a very clickable button. And I do like that because it does work very well and it's very easy to use. Now, the one thing, the frames are kind of loose, but that's because these are very, very light glasses. Just a, These are extremely light. You will be comfortable in these glasses and you're going to be able to rock these and wear these all day without any issues. Extremely light but there is some weight here in the frames, and that will cause this one's a little better, but this side it does, you know, it doesn't really stay up, which I don't know. Teach their own. You might like it. You might not care. I actually don't care. It doesn't bother me at all, but I love how light these glasses are. Now, inside of the box, we do get a few nice things. We get this carrying case right here. It's very clean. Now, it does have the lining on the inside to protect your glasses, but just a very nice case. You can see the branding here, the Rocket IQ. There is a little texture on here. It's like a it's like a pleather. I don't think it's real leather, but it's it's nice. It's a nice addition. We also get this case here. And we also get a cleaning cloth with the branding on it as well. And overall, remember, these are very affordable smart audio glasses, and you can get 30% off right now with the coupon code digital slang. Now, this is your charging cable here so usb a on this end and then on this side you do have two magnetic pins which is very cool because they just snap on to the ends here as you can see it'll just snap on but 
What's very cool is not only do you have one for each frame because you can use one frame at a time. So you have a power button. This button here, if you hold it down, and we'll just do it now. We'll hold it down. It's already on. I'll turn them off, and then we'll see if you guys can hear it from the sound leakage. So we'll turn this off. Uh, did that go on? Yeah, that turned off. Now we'll turn it on, and we'll see if you guys can hear it. You guys probably heard that. So we are on right now, but there's a power button on each frame. So you can use one at a time. So if you want to extend your battery life, save your battery life, you can just turn on one side of these glasses and just listen to the left or the right or turn on both. But just remember, when you power it off, you're going to want to turn off both sides of this. So battery life, again, will depend on how loud you are listening your music to. And of course, it will also depend on if you're using both of the frames, if they're both turned on. So the charging cable is a very nice addition, and I love the fact that you can just use either frame or you can have that stereo sound and just go that way with both of them turned on. But let me know what you think. Now, I did make some calls on here, and I got to be honest with you, I'm very surprised with the call quality on here. They were It was very clean, and the person on the other end said they could hear me just fine, but coming in on my end, I thought it sounded very clear. And these are running Bluetooth 5.0 for connection. And again, IPX4 sweat resistant or water resistant. But let's do a mic test. You guys can check out the mics. All right, guys, the IQ by Rocket, a pair of smart audio glasses that are actually very affordable. A lot of the other glasses out there are right around 200 bucks, if not more than that. And we are finally getting a pair that is affordable but let me know what you think of the mic quality on these glasses. And let me know what you think of the look of these glasses. Again, two different colorways, this brown color, and we also get a black colorway. But let me know what you think. This will give you an idea of what it sounds like on a phone call. So let's talk about volume and sound quality on these glasses. And again, remember, these are, it's, it's audio coming out of the frames of the glasses. So you are going to have sound leakage, right? It's not like earbuds that go inside of your ears with silicone tips that will give you that passive noise isolation. This is different. It's like a pair of open-ended earbuds, but probably even worse. It's kind of like the bone conduction earbuds that just wrap around your ears, right? The speakers are on the outside, so you are going to hear it. So that's where the volume comes into play on these glasses, right? It's a fine line when it comes to a pair of glasses or anything that does audio like this, because if you give it a lot of volume, well, that's more audio that's going out into the world that people are going to hear around you. So that fine line of balancing what's too much, and I think that's where we are at here, for me, the volume, it's, it's, I need a little more. It's just almost there. I can listen to it and be comfortable listening to it, but every now and then I want a little more volume and I can't get it. But again, there's that fine line because even with the volume that's here, there is definitely some sound leakage. It's not a lot. It's not a ton. If somebody is a few feet away from you, they probably won't hear it. But somebody right next to you is going to hear it. But we're going to play a little clip from my last YouTube video, and you guys can let me know if you hear it. Now, let me know what you think of the sound leakage, if you could hear it or not. So I can hear it. If I take these glasses off and I have music playing or something, and I'm right here, I can hear it, and I can hear what is playing. It's not extremely loud, so I don't think it's ever going to be an issue. I think it's a nice balance with the amount of volume we get, but I did mention, like, I wish there was a little more, and that's just my preference. It might be more than enough for you, but you guys know if you follow the channel, I like loud music. I like to be able to turn it up, have that extra, and then dial it down, find that sweet spot. But I understand on audio glasses that this is what we get, so we need to be careful with that. You know, as far as gaming on here, I wouldn't recommend that. Even watching content on there, I don't think these are made for that. I did experience a little delay when even watching YouTube videos with these glasses. And again, look, the touch controls on here, they are controlled by these buttons on the frames. And again, you can dial up your voice assistant. You can next track, previous track, play and pause, answer, and end the phone call. But let me know what you guys think of the IQ by Rocket. I like the look of these glasses. Of course, they do come 
in the two colorways here, the two colors, I always get comments about that when I say colorways, but the two colors of the glasses, the brown and the black, polarized lenses, you can change them out, get subscription lenses. Last but not least, the sound quality. It's good. It's, you know, it's clear. And I think these are great for people out there that love just clarity and crisp highs. These, these sound good. For what they are, they sound really good. Now, if you want bass, that's not these. You're not going to find bass on these at all. Like, these are mids and highs. The bass is lacking, and you would expect that on something like this. Not a lot of bass on here at all, but it is crispy, and it is clean, and it sounds good, again, for, for smart audio glasses, right? You're not going to get a pair of smart audio glasses that blow you away when it comes to sound. This is more of a cool thing, a convenience thing. You want some glasses. You want to keep your ears open and have your surrounding areas still, you know, present with your hearing, and this still gives you the ability to listen to music, to make a phone call and talk on the phone, with and your hands free. And there's nothing in your ears, and it's just a... I like these things. I like these things a lot. I wish there was more of these out there. I feel like we're just starting with smart audio glasses, and over time, they're going to continue to get better. So I hope we keep pushing this type of tech forward because I like them. I think they're a cool piece of tech and I'm here for it. You guys know that. That's what we do here on the channel. We review tech. I'll be back soon with another video. Check out the IQ by Rocket smart audio glasses. A nice pair and affordable pair of smart audio glasses. Again, $89.99 with 30% off right now with the coupon code digital slang. I will drop the link for that below. Hit that like, drop a sub. I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.